Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're looking at my insane end of the year club tour. It is the end of the year, boys. The year is about over. And I want to take you guys through the cards and the players that I have in my club. We're ending the year with this Panini collection of cards in my FIFA Ultimate team. Pretty dope, pretty insane. I've had a lot of red list pack look this year. And I want to quickly go through the team, go through the club, share that with you guys, and just kind of almost as like a show off, kind of like a slight flex, I guess, as to what grinding, what trading at an elite level, and even putting just a lot of effort in so you can upgrade packs, uh, can open upgrade packs, and maybe get lucky half the time um, could get you, right? This could be you guys next year. If you, you know, are following the channel, following the trading tips, you know, getting involved in the Discord, stuff like that, you can have a chance to pack and have a club like this through trading without spending any coins. They make it easier and easier every year with the amount of special cards that come out with the, uh, you know, availability of cards this year. This was one of the years where uh, cards were the cheapest they've ever been in terms of price for team of the year cards, for just regular golds, icons, all that kind of stuff. Most icons, not the icon moments, but uh, especially with all like the upgrade packs at the end of the year with the best of stuff in packs, um, it was a crazy, it was a very easy year to have a crazy, crazy team. But a lot of the cards that we packed were not at the end of the year, like right now with the summer heat, with the preseason promo, with the best of players in packs. We got a lot of this stuff during team of the season, which made it that much sweeter. So, we're going to take a quick look through my club and just talk about where some of these players come from, what they mean, and also some cards that maybe I missed out on uh, throughout the year. Some cards I wish I would have done in terms of at that time it was great value for money and I kind of missed out on that SBC or doing that objective. So without further ado, let's jump into the club. As you guys know, we got the big three from League 1 during League 1 team of the season. We were able to pack... Mbappe, Neymar, and Ben Yedder all here on the first page on one day. I packed those three cards on one day, one pack opening during League One Team of the Season. It was nuts. Best day of packs I've ever had in my entire life, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I've never packed Neymar, never packed Mbappe, at least in the past two years when they've been super meta. And then, of course, with Ben Yedder topping that off as well, dude. Getting all three of those untradeable during League One Team of the Season was insane like again a lot of these cards came earlier in the year i haven't had that great of pulls during like the 90 plus packs the 92 plus guaranteeds the only one that i'm going to show you is like 97 timo Werner. he came after team of the season ended so again these three guys right here are like that day sticks out to me the most as the most red list pack luck and the luckiest i've been like ever on fifa to get all those pulls in one day in the club first owner untradeable and all the stuff you're seeing in the club today except for two cards are all untradeable. So this is all stuff that I've been able to pack this year or do an SBC for or complete an objective for, or it's come from like a guaranteed TOTS pack or a guaranteed something or other pack. So all this is untradeable. I literally have nothing tradable in my club except two players. And I'll talk about those in a second. Team of the years, right? We had a great se segment of the year with team of the seasons, but team of the year this year, I packed my first ever team of the year. I packed Allison first, and then I packed Conte, not once, but twice, I ended up packing Team of the Year Conte twice, untradeable. I had to submit him to an SBC during Team of the Year, which was very hard. But this is the best all-around card I've ever used uh, this year in FIFA 20. This dude was unbelievable, is unbelievable. And uh, even though I don't play a lot of games, I played 500 games with this Conte card alone. So GG's. If you have this card, you know how insane that he is. But I'd say... Those, the, this page right here with the Ben Yedder, the Neymar, the Mbappe, and the Conte, those pulls right there to me mean the most in terms of in my club, in terms of what they were worth when I pack pulled them. You know, Neymar was 6 million coins when I packed him this that, that week of League on team of the season. Ben Yedder, I think, was like 5 mil or something. Mbappe was like 3. So, I mean, that is a crazy amount of coins untradeable value-wise at the time uh, that I was able to get into my club, right? We packed Varane as well from... Um, La Liga team of the season from those upgrades. My best two red picks from the year, uh, gold three Luis Alberto and silver one Lewandowski headliner. Allison team of the season. A lot of people have packed him. Moving on to the second page, we have the most insane icon moments card that I've ever packed. This happened last week. 7.8 million coins worth of card right here for Zinedine Zidane. And I've only played one game with him, bro. One game. 
I've only played with this card. Unreal. I need to step up my game in, in September, right? I'm going to have to play a few with him, though, to get a big... Uh, Get a big sense of how this card plays. Some people say he's clunky, but dude, Icon Moments 97 Zidane, you got to try him out, right? So again, this is the card that came from like a 92 plus Tots. That's my best one from all these upgrade packs in the past couple weeks. Aguero I packed during Prem Team of the Season. Rocked this guy for a couple weeks in Weekend League. He was pretty solid. Ramos was during La Liga Tots. 243 games. IMO, best center back in the game for me. Griezmann got a lot of caps for the team as well. He was playing right mid for me a lot. Um, or left center mid in a 4 one 2 one 2 He was really good. Cruz, Fakir uh, were both guys that I didn't really play with that much, uh, but they were nice pulls during La Liga Tots. Immobile with a high-rated fodder card. Hummels with high-rated fodder, basically. Uh, Oblak is a red. Guaranteed Sancho from the Sancho packs. Um, I think I packed him by himself during Bundesliga Tots, but then I got another one, and I just rinsed the first one in. Di Maria played a couple games with, I think. Maybe not. Papa Gomez I just packed recently. This one meant a lot to me, man. Packing Hyun Min Sun during Premier League Team of the Season as a Spurs fan. This one felt incredible. That was huge for the club, for my account. It just felt incredible. That was a big, big pull. Uh, played a decent amount of games with him. Of course, Red Ter Stegen was a, a big pull during La Liga Team of the Season. Royce, I feel really proud about this one, man. And not a lot of people have this card in tradable. He was very hard to pack. Most times we saw German center tech in mid Dortmund, it was Brandt. And I actually was able to get Royce. So that was a W. Muller, Lukaku's SBC, a couple other cards in the club. Uh, Holland is a pretty dope card. And then, of course, you have all the summer heats, right? I couldn't turn any of these in, man. Uh, these cards are just so beastly. So good. Zlatan was a beast for me in the weekend league that I used him. Of course, Vinicius. My, I'm famously known for calling this guy Vinicius in FIFA 19. Pogba's, uh, you know, one of his best cards ever. Sanchez, dope card. Promes, dope card. Uh, all pack pulled. Vardy actually packed today from the 92 plus guaranteed. And here we have the first tradable card in my team. That is 94 in form. Harry Kane. I bought him for the Spurs squad. That's a GG. This card's actually really good. I've got another version of Kane I'll talk about in a minute. Insane card, by the way. Anyway, I was able to pack Messi untradeable this year, part of the red list pack luck. Packed him from a player pick during foot birthday, I think. Just a random Messi popped out from nowhere that was dope. Played him on the right wing for a, a long time until team of the season. Rashford Tots in there. Carvajal gets some games for me. Van de Beek, of course, GGMU. Uh, got him red. Dybala. Uh, you know, people didn't like him at first. He's a pretty solid card. I haven't used LR much, just a couple games. Yeah, two games, legit. Of course, I got my man Erickson, my lookalike, 45 games played with him. Uh, Bruno Fernandez, Ribery, of course, all the SBCs from the Summer Heat promo. Hulk, we pack pulled. Um, Tellez was pack pulled a couple weeks ago. I had this card tradable for a while that I used. Uh, Kaka came from a Prime Icon Moments pack. Again, that's 1.3 million right there uh, in the club. Richarlison was a striker that I used. After Premier League team of the season, I used Richarlison and Aguero up top for multiple weeks because those guys were fantastic for me. This guy's a really, really good card. Loved using him in the latter part of this year. Um, Insigne in there as well. Used him some. Nine Golan. Never really got playing time for me, unfortunately. This card is really dope. 88 games played. Most is a super sub. Really, this is like Ben Yedder quality rat IMO in like in-game. Really, really good card. Lala, of course, solid right back. 114 caps for me. Wow interesting then of course you got the whole 93 french squad here uh dembele bendy mendy kempembe and dombele and langley with figo as a prime icon moments that i packed earlier too balak was just packed like two days ago and then of course my 92 harry kane now this is a very prized possession of my club people always ask me why have you not sold this card and this is what i tell them right i bought him first owner in November, when it, just after he went on to PAX, and I said, you know what? I'm going to buy this card, play with my favorite player, Harry Kane, in-game. Look at the stats, bro. 222 games played, 195 goals, 94 assists. And I think I was using a 4-4-2 or maybe a 4 maybe a 4 one 2 So he was not a sole striker up top banging in goals. This guy was really, really good for me. Loved using Harry Kane, and I just can't sell him, right? I love that dynamic image. Love the card. That's going to stay in the Panini for the rest of the game. GG's. We love Harry Kane. That's right. Now, some of the other big pack pulls that I've had this year. Paul Pugba, untradeable first owner during foot birthday from a player pick. And I also got another card from uh, foot birthday as well. But this is where like the red list 
really, really began to start before team of the season. It was like, I had red list of luck, of course, before tots. And this was one of those examples, but during team of the season, it got even crazier, right? I mean, you guys have seen my tots counter right here. Yeah. 120 tots packed insane amount of team of the season. We got during, during that time frame. we were just spamming, spamming packs. Alfonso Davies, pretty good left back card. Haven't used him enough. Calvin Phillips, dope card as well. Got him during like the summer heat promo, I think. Uh, Bernardo Silva, right? As we get towards the back of the club here, there's a couple more club legends that I just don't have the guts to get rid of into an SBC. Bernardo Silva, you know, I used, I actually turned in my duplicate team of the year Conte for this SBC, but 221 games played. He was a mainstay during team of the year in my club. This card means a lot to me, man, because I rocked him after team of the year because I packed him untradeable right when Icon Moments came out. That was a crazy Icon Moments pull from Division Rivals Rewards, man. Division Rivals Rewards on the Companion app, literally in my car, stopped on the way to work. I ripped this pack and boom, out pops Makalele. That was dope. Crazy day, that one. Um, this was from Mid-Icon SBC. Carlos Boateng, Alan Sandro, some SBCs, Hakimi, and then Rashford was as well was packed during foot birthday on tradable. That was a dope pull because this card actually was really, really good in game for me. Again, 150 caps for the club. And then, of course, when team of the season came around, he kind of got demoted. But that was a really good card for my club as well. And then as we get towards the back, some of the Americans and other Spurs cards that we have back here uh, from the storyline objectives that I've kept in just because I'm an American, you know, for the Panini. And then, of course, Mr. Ryan Kent, the super sub of dreams. This You got to keep this guy in your club to remember just what FIFA 20 was as a game. This guy was so OP. Uh, of course, when he, he was OP when he was an 84. Then he got the boost to 87 with the uh, preseason promo, and he, he's just wild. So that's basically the end of my club because after this, it goes to like 78 rateds, which is kind of like a lot of people's clubs <laughs> right now at this stage of the year. But a couple other cards that should be a part of my club that I actually ended up turning into SBCs at some point, which I probably shouldn't have. David Luiz's flashback card. I crafted this during team of the year. He was a lovely card for my, my squad. Using him for, until team of the season, he was dope for me. Really, really good in game. I didn't play a, a ton of games again, but this guy was fantastic. And then Roberto Carlos's baby from Icon Swap set one. This guy had a bunch of uh, games played for my club. He was great. I think a lot of people used this card early on in foot because of the Icon Swaps and because you could get him so easily. Now, to end this thing off, we have two players that I wish I would have done the SBCs for earlier in this game of FIFA, and here's one of them. Scream PK. I didn't do the Scream PK SBC. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't have this dude in the club anymore, but at the time, this was one of the best value SBCs like of the year. Last year when they released this, it was insane. Caused some crazy market movements that day with link investments to this. Center backs across the game just died because uh, of this, the, the pace boost. On PK, I mean, plus 16 pace from his normal card. Uh, and then, of course, a massive boost to the defense, the dribbling. Made this card really usable with, uh, I think, medium-high medium, me medium high work rates at that stage of the game. Uh, you know, in November, this is a really good card, right? So a lot of people were using this guy, and I do regret not doing this SBC. This is the other one for the Spurs Panini. I didn't do Dominton Sanchez, bro. I've got the 85. I didn't do the 88, though. I regret not doing that SBC just for the Spurs and Nini, right? Again, boys, this is the club, man. This is the club with insane, you know, I guess I could chalk this up to insane pack luck, I guess, but, um, you know, I feel like I would have gotten a lot of these pulls, honestly, just from spamming packs during the team of the season, during the summer heat time frame. It was a GG of the year. The only thing I did not complete was packing a 99 rated player. I guess I'm going to have to say that for next year, unless I can somehow do it in this last week of the preseason promo. So, that's my endgame club tour. Again, I'll give you one last look at my endgame squad with a, you know, the setup of players that I think are the best in this game that I have in my club. This is like the best possible squad that I could have. Of course, I could have possibly Leng Lei instead of Mili Tao. Huge fan of Mili Tao, though. Really, really, really fun card. Uh, this team is awesome, man. Love the team. They're so good. So fun to play with. Of course, with good gameplay. But that's what we were able to grind towards this year. I think the Panini is looking great. It's looking awesome. And the fact that this is all first owner untradeable makes it even better. All right, boys. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.